Welcome to Ringside Riot Season 3. That's not how I said to do it, Jerry. Well, that's kind of the way I've always done it. It's what's best for business, Jerry. You don't want to be fired like Cody Rhodes, do you? No, Stephanie, I don't. <sighs> Welcome to Ringside Riot! Seen up and boil yourself a cold drink. We're gonna talk about the things that fire you up. Because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Talk about the things that really fire you up. And because, because it is wrestling. Everyone is coming down, not wearing a frown. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm missing a raw. Oh, I was supposed to fall asleep in the second hour. Oh. Oh, Canada. Well, in case you weren't paying attention or you had fallen asleep, just like me, uh, Raw was in Canada this week. We got to see the return of Edge. And Edge was going to reunite with his buddy Christian. Unfortunately, the Shield laid out Christian uh, in a very awful fashion. Well, the thing is, is that Edge really doesn't technically work for the WWE anymore, so he can do and say whatever he wants. Well, unfortunately, there's consequences to that. The consequences being that Christian got beat down. So what this boils down to is, is that Edge has a stack of dimes for a neck. That's what Triple H said. He also said that Edge never drew a dime. There's a lot of references to dimes here. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I think we're gonna see some more Edge in our immediate future. So Edge, be straight with me. What do you really think of Triple H? Well, to be honest with you, Jerry, he's a dictator. At least that's half true. <laughs> <laughs> Fan favorite, Santino came back. That's right, the Toronto fans were treated to a good time by Santino whooping the hell out of our good pal, Antonio Cesaro. Oh boy, what the hell is that? Oh, 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 oh. This is awkward. This is awkward. This is awkward. This was completely crazy. I mean, even crazier than being in Toronto. Absolutely ridiculous. So Goldust returns. He's got to beat Randy Orton. Bang, wouldn't you know? All of a sudden, Randy Orton beats Goldust. And Randy Orton rises up. And Goldust is crying. Inexplicably, another superstar crying, just like the big show. So... Cody remains on the unemployment line. When all was said and done, poor Goldust couldn't get his little brother's job back, leaving him mustacheless and unemployed. Triple H doesn't like mustaches because he believes they're bad for business. Also, to add insult to injury, on the way out, Stephanie McMahon decides to say to old Goldust, say hello to your father for me. Now we all know the Rhodes legacy is a deep legacy in wrestling. Not only that, this man, Dusty Rhodes, is his father. Will we see him return in some capacity? You betcha. Oh yeah, daddy, the son of a plumber, he gonna come strong. Oh, hello there. Uh, this is TNA in 10 seconds. <clears throat> these two are gonna face off, these two are gonna face off, Mr. Anderson's a face, and these two have now aligned themselves with Bully Ray, and that's TNA in 10 seconds. Who's been keeping up with Total Divas? This guy. Mainly because it's been better than Raw and SmackDown most weeks. Previously on Total Divas, Natalia's bachelorette party rages on. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. Hey, Ooh. hey, Bree. Uh, I'm, I'm having a mojito. What, what do you want to drink? Oh, um, I think I'll have a purple eater. Oh, I never heard of that one. 
sounds awesome though. <laughs> hey, what do you think's going on over at Tyson Kidd's bachelor party? Time to go back, back in time with the NWO. We got the giant, and we got a ringside exclusives, macho man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah, order now. Welcome to Ringside Mailbag, where you have questions, and debatably, I have answers. Our first question comes from Laura D'Onofrio. When the heck is Mattel macking an RVD figure? I don't know what macking means, but they say we will see an RVD figure by mid-2014, and if you're lucky, and if you're at Ringside Fest 10, you just might see a prototype. Brett Giannicolo asks, are you going to make an announcer's table? That's a funny question, because believe it or not, we actually are working on a brand new, see I got it, I got it. We've got them, baby, and you can pre-order them now. That's right, go to WrestlingFigures.com and you can have this. You can pre-order it. Vikram Prashar asks, Hey, Ringside, if Batista came back, who would you like to see him face? Personally, I'd like to see him face some smaller opponents. The first one being Dolph Ziggler. I'd like to see him in a program with CM Punk. And hell, I would love to see him work with RVD just because it's never happened before. Corey Farrell asks, Corey Farrell? It's Corey Farrell. Corey Farrell asks, guys, they didn't fire Cody. He was having a weeding. So just there, give him time to have his weeding. Next question. <laughs> Broskies, Jerry Hara, have you ever pooped your pants? Wrestling tights, real talk. Real talk, I have. Next question. John Cena fan, 393. Are we ever gonna see a Goldberg figure? He has not signed a WWE Legends deal just yet, but on October 22nd, they are releasing a Goldberg career retrospective. You can pick that up on DVD and Blu-ray. Diego Vargas asks, I know you will not put my question on Ringside or Riot, but... Yeah, we will. Yeah, we just kinda did. Will Mattel do an elite Tommy Dreamer, Sabu, or Sandman? They do not have Legends deals. The only three ECW originals that are under contract currently with the WWE are RVD, Paul Heyman, and Joey Styles. Well, it's been another Ringside Mailbag, so you know what that means. If you've got questions, comments, you gotta put them below me. I'll write down here, Daddy. You know where to put them. Come on, ask me some questions! Inquiring minds wanna know, is DDP's yoga better? Or is Trish Stratus Stratosphere yoga better? Well, let's find out. Welcome everyone to DDP Yoga. All right, Jerry. First you're gonna do the bang pose. Bang! Yeah! Nice, nice, good job, good job. Thank you. So now, secondly, we're gonna do the diamond doll pose. You know how to do the diamond doll, don't you? Are you sure this is okay, Mr. Page? Yes, yes, let's go ahead. All right. Who's sexy? Who's sexy? Mr. Page is sexy. That's right. Mm, 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 mm. All right, Trevor, are you ready to rock? Absolutely, let's go. All right, let's start with some women's curls with the women's championship belt. All right. It's one. <sighs> 36. <sighs> 90. <sighs> Very good, Trevor. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next move. Now this is called the Matrish. Are you familiar with this, Trevor? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. All right. Let's see you do the Matrish. Oh boy, you're gonna be fit in no time. Hee hee hee. October twenty sixth, twenty thirteen, Ringside Fest's tenth anniversary goes down at the legendary Caroline's Comedy Club in New York City in Times Square. And, for the first time ever, the ringside exclusive, Here Comes the Pain, Brock Lesnar. Now, this comes with the undisputed championship belt and Here Comes the Pain signature t-shirt. And remember, 
This is your first opportunity to get the Mattel WWE Elite Ringside Exclusive. And don't forget, Ringside Collectibles will be there all day with the newest WWE action figures. Go to ringsidefest.com and order your tickets now. Welcome, Ringside, to Weekly Fan Collection. I am your host, Oliver Rose, from Ultimate Tactic 9, and here is my collection. Look at all these figures. Look, I've got John Cena over here with the purple juice. I got, yes, 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 he scored Nikki Bella. Yes. I also got Alberto to Rio, right back, Diesel. I got Sheamus, I got Randy Orton, I got Heath, Heath Slayer, who, who has a water, who has a head like a melon. <gasps> Sin Cara, there's a reason why I don't put you in. You keep on bullshitting. Feck Rider, no wonder you're never on TV. Jinder Mahal, you just lost your gimmick. <laughs> Wait, I had a pretty damn good collection with them all set up. <gasps> Well, like all good things, Ringsider Riot must come to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. And for the largest selection of WWE figures in the universe, go to WrestlingFigures.com, or I'm going to hit you with this jam.